Hi there, and welcome back to my computer. I am playing around with solids in Fusion still, and this is the truncated tetrahedron, one of the Archimedean solids. And as you can see, it's a tetrahedron, uh, where the vertices or the points are cut off, truncated, so you get a hexagon and some triangles. And as the things I've done earlier, this is basically parametric, so I can define the dimension. There's only one dimension, there's no math, no angles, and you can resize this and do things like that. So it takes a bit of sketching and yeah, just two laughs. This is a bit wrong down here, you will see the version I'm doing now. So let's do this. We are going to start with the sketch. And if you see me down a teeter here, you know we're going to start with the polygon. It's lots of polygons the whole time. Three sides because we need a triangle. And we're going to constrain it like that. And we're going to start doing some geometry which we're going to use. We're going to construct a sorry, we're going to make a construction circle. The circle has the radius of the side of a triangle. And we're going to do now we're going to do a bit of high fly we're going to use. And I'm going to split this line into as you see, as you click it three times, and when I'm going to choose the three parts and make them equal, I'm going to use do this because I'm going to need to do thirds of a hive because the half of this where it cuts off is one third of a half of a full tetrahedron. So that, and now I'm going to do. If you want to do it now, you can just dimension anything. But as I want to do it in a control hive, I'm going to do a second free cut line where I do it I make sure it connects to the circle I make these three lines equal and now this is the complete height of a full tetrahedron and if I do dimension for midpoint and I find the second point here or the first point out from the circle this is going to be the height of the finished uh, trunked to hit on so let's do that uh, 135 millimeters just for fun of it move it oh sorry take the dimension and uh, move it out of the way so that's our first sketch we're gonna finish sketch and go back to our home view which makes it a bit easier and we're gonna create the second sketch which is gonna help us make the height of everything and we start with projections we're gonna put sorry, we're gonna turn it a bit around. We're gonna put this point and we're gonna to try to find the points the, the cuts we made in this high flight because we need that's the first third, the midpoint, and we're gonna find that third and here and also this line. We're gonna need this edge for later, so like that. We start with circles, construction circles. The first circle is the same length as the side of a triangle. And now we're going to do so we get and can do the rest of the hive. Because we're going to use that now as we keep on sketching. The first thing it's going to do is use this. This looks a bit like I do the octahedron or some other stuff. And you're going to see it later. And also, just to check, we're going to constrain it to the midpoint so it doesn't move around. That's locked down. That's going to be the top of this tetrahedron, or you're going to do a second tetrahedron. And as it ends out, it's going to have the same top point down here as it's a symmetric thing you're going to see later. Now we're going to do some lines. Line from here up to here. This is the edge of one of the triangles. And one line from the middle point here up to here. This is the middle length of one of the triangles. We're going to need some points as we're going to pick the intersections here. So we're going to do like that. We're going to do line from here. We're just going to do a small triangle here to start off. We're going to constrain that horizontally. And the other line is going to be parallel to this line. As this is beyond the line that cuts off this part here. And just for the fun of it, let's put a point out here. I don't know if you really need to put the point, these two points you need. Otherwise, the sketch is going to break when we change the size. I don't know if we have this point, but I do it anyway. And with that, we're finished with that sketch. Now we need, uh, we're going to do the other base for the second tetrahedron up here. And in, in 
in the same hive as Lion, so we need a construction plane. And uh, we're gonna choose I hold down and choose XY plane. I avoid choosing the profile because it's sometimes things go wrong. And I go up to this point. That is two thirds up of a hive. And we're gonna construct a sketch on this one. We are gonna do uh, projections again. We're gonna turn around so we can see a bit better. I need the midpoint. This midpoint really is there, but I like to project this. So I know where it is. And this point. And now we go back and we go do the base of a t the second tier to hit it, which of course is a polygon again. Choose the midpoint, make sure it has three side as a triangle has. I'm just gonna put it somewhere here. Then I'm gonna constrain it so I lock the sketches together by choosing the line, midpoint, and this point. <clears throat> and by that we have done the sketches we need. So let's see if we can do some lofting. We're gonna do loft, solid loft from this profile to this point. Okay, and the second loft we're gonna do is we're gonna be from this profile down to the point we constructed down here, and we're gonna do uh, intersect. I think of intersect as basically a split body and delete the things you don't want. So intersects is really faster way to do it. You could split bodies and then delete things or remove other bodies and stuff like that. But this brings us to the finished product. And we have a truncated tito hidden. And we're gonna inspect it from this side to this flat side. 135 millimeters. Let's see if we can change the dimension or if all of the things going to crash. We do it 10 millimeters. And oops, sorry. We can, we have to zoom in and we can inspect it. That side to that side, 10 millimeters, yeah, that side to that side, we can't do like that, sorry. That side to that side is also 10 millimeters. And of course, we can make it bigger if we want to do that. Uh, oops, where are you? Dimension, come on. Do it 500 millimeters, should work. Finish sketch, let's zoom out. Yeah, it works, so it's parametric and working. I hope this is useful for you to see what you can do with Fusion and see you around. Goodbye.